What's up, guys? It's David coming at you with a, from Organic Price Books uh, with a new release from Marvel, another omnibus for the second week of February. Today we are looking at February 1964, uh, a basically collection of all of the titles that came out in February 1964 and, uh, you know, include some classics, some heroes that you know and love, plus some that you probably never even heard of. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the standard right here and the DM right here. Usually for these, the standard will have like that modern look and then the DM will have like the uh, original classic look. I'm gonna call it the classic. Yeah, the classic. So same thing here with this one, standard DM. Very cool. Let me check out both spines together so you can see that right there. So again, standard right here, DM right here. And let's go ahead and I'll show you each one. So here's the standard front spine and the back very cool I like how the back has the, the titles that were in there and then this is the DM right here front spine and back very cool uh, and my pick for this one is definitely gonna be the standard I like that their heroes are more present than this one than on the DM uh, while you know, Daredevil with that yellow costume is definitely highlighted in both. This one has more heroes and characters uh, around it. So very cool. I like that. Let's take a look underneath the dust jacket from the DM one. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Boom. All right. So you get Daredevil again here on this one, on both of them. So that's cool. And then I like this, like, I like that there's a, the, the background is just white and it has the heroes, like, on this structure, this, like, building or they're building something. Very cool. Very creative. I like that. Uh, all right. Let me put this back. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's jump back in time. Let's, uh, you know, rewind the clock and see what February Let's get into 1964. Let's get it on the floor. Let's look inside this book and see what's going on and get some more information. All right, cool. You, there's a lot of writers on this, a lot of pencilers as well. Cl I mean, legends. Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, uh, Steve Ditko. Man, you're seeing a lot of really, uh, you know, big names on here. And of course, 1964 was their time. Here's the table of content, all that's included. And semi-gloss, pages feel nice, you know, what you're used to from an Omni, numbered down here at the bottom. And big, nice format, I really like that. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this book. Uh, February 1964, A Month Without Fear. By 1964, Marvel had become so successful at introducing new superheroes that they could truthfully declare every new character as part of an ongoing tradition. It was a mighty Marvel tradition, as the cover to February's 1964 Daredevil number one boasted. The new series evoked the surprise smash hit Spider-Man while breaking new grounds with its blind protagonist who dove headfirst into fights with a devil-may-care attitude. Daredevil's gritty legend was begun by comic legend Stan Lee and Bill Everett, but it wasn't the only historic moment in Marveldom in February 1964. In The Amazing Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus unmasked Spidey to the Daily Bugle office. While in the Fantastic Four, it's high drama at the Baxter Building as the Fantastic Four battled the Hulk. And the fire meets ice and fire meets ice in strange tales when the human torch teams up with the X-Men's Iceman in one of the mutants' first appearance without his Xavier School teammates. Meanwhile, the beautiful but deadly super spy Black Widow turns Iron Man's tech against him, and the watcher's origin is told in Tales of Suspense. Over in Tales of to Astonish. Giant Man and Wasp face the human top, a villain who'll make old high pockets head spin. February 1964 issue of Journey into Mystery asks, can the mighty Thor defeat two of the strangest super menaces of all time? As Thor confronts two new menaces, the Enchantress and the Executioner. 
Though superheroes were gaining in prominence, Marvel's Western heroes were still riding the range. Kid Colt Outlaw was dazzled by Dr. Danger and the Invisible Gunman, while the Two-Gunned Kid tries to keep peace in the frontier town of Tombstone. And in Marvel's popular teen humor lineup, Millie threatens to give up modeling, but what career could possibly take its place? And in Millie, the model sister title, Modeling with Millie, we see a different side of Millic uh, Millicent Collins, the mother, not the model. While over in Patsy Walker, Buzz finally puts a ring on it, but is seeing Believing? In addition to collecting all of the titles that share the same release month as Daredevil number 1, Marvel num February 1964 Omnibus also includes issues of The Avengers, Patsy and Hetty, Rawhide Kid, Sgt. Fury, and The X-Men to present a complete selection of every title published at the moment that Daredevil debuted. It's a beautiful, rest uh, beautifully restored hardcover collection to celebrate the evolution of the Marvel Age of Comics. Very cool. Like I said, you're going to get a lot of different uh, titles here, Western, superhero, uh, humor. Uh, so you're definitely, definitely going to jump back in time and see just the different titles Marvel had at the time. Some black and whites, as you see here. Original art. And some afterwards right there. Let me take, let's take a look at some of these covers. Here you go. This one is nice because uh, this one has Kingpin and then the different one where it has, uh, you know, him going as to, as after this, this guy. I don't know who it is. This is the one from the cover. Another one, Daredevil. Very cool. Oh, this Alex Ross one. Ooh. Oh, what, a, what, a, what an artist. And then this kind of tells you who's all on here. Very cool. Very nice. So there you go, guys. Uh, this is Marvel's February 1964 Omnibus. Uh, check it out at Agar Price Books. Let me know if you're going to get it. And I will see you guys in the next one.